Hello one and all and welcome back to another week of Outside the Ropes. I'm your host of Outside the Ropes as always, Matthew Moore. Welcome back to the Outside the Ropes programme. Hope you're all doing very well out there and big thank you once again for hitting that download button on iTunes or listening to us here on YouTube or Facebook or wherever it is you're listening to us. A big thanks for all your support as always. So guys, busy week of professional wrestling leading into this Sunday's Royal Rumble. We've got some interesting subjects we want to talk about on tonight's podcast and also uh, some breaking stories has come out in the last sort of few hours before we come on the air here today but before we get into any discussion and any more uh, talk about the world of wrestling I just want to give a shout out to our friends and partners of this podcast if you're historians of professional wrestling just like myself and most people who listen to this podcast wrestling's past is your location go to their website wrestlingspast.blogspot.co.uk and on twitter at wrestling's past for all your history of professional wrestling so if you're a historian like me get on the wrestling's pass because this is a location to go and check out all your history of wrestling even if you're new to professional wrestling wrestling's past is the location guys how you all doing out there i hope you're all doing brilliantly well out there thanks for tuning in again uh, it's been an interesting week in the world of professional wrestling we've got some interesting stories on tonight's podcast but before we go into any chat at all, I just want to give a big shout out to our friends of British Wrestling Radio, to Dino and Nixie for inviting myself, Matthew, onto their uh, podcast this past Friday night. Now, if you have missed the show on Friday night, there is a repeat of the show available now on their website or on their Twitter or on their Facebook account or YouTube. Uh, we will uh, let you hear just a few seconds here, a wee sort of short snippet of the interview that Dino conducted with myself this past Friday night. Um, we will set an our link up on our Facebook wall as well for you to have a wee listen to, but it was a great time being on the podcast. I was on the air for about 30, 35 minutes with Dino having a good chat about local wrestling here in Ireland, obviously over in England, the WWE, talking about the Royal Rumble coming up this weekend, and uh, just a few other things too as well, sharing some stories from our time in wrestling too. So it was a great wee interview with Dino. I do thank him for inviting me onto the show, and I hope that Dino um, will return the favour someday and would like to have Dino or Nixie on the podcast here about Cedar Ropes and have a wee chat with them about the British wrestling scene because they are well clued in to what's going on over there in the mainland of England and across most of the UK. So I'd like to have Dino and Nixie on sometime for a bit of a chat here on Outside Ropes. So let's give you a wee short a few seconds preview, um, if you haven't listened to it yet, of the interview with myself and Dino uh, this past Friday on British Wrestling Radio. With the WWE and the injuries, it's... Um it's like they get to a stage where, I mean, we've, had, we've just had Sin Cara do his, dislocate his shoulder. Yeah. And that happened on Raw. And uh, it's, um, mm, it, it, I don't know what's going off. I don't know. I've never known it's crazy. It's like somebody just had to walk, walk into the ring and all of a sudden they're injured. It's, um, it is getting to a stage. Um, so what would, would you think is going to win the Rumble? As if we didn't know already. Well. Uh-huh. I'm going, I've got two names picked for me. I, I would go either Reigns the Retain or Lesnar. But that's my pick. But I could be wrong. Um, what about yourself, Dino? I mean, who are you going with? I mean, I, I, I've, I've heard that they're not going to take the title off Reigns, but I don't know. I think there's rumor, they've all I've heard of rumours and things, but what I want is Reigns... Reigns to do 29 guys and then Triple H comes in and beats him. And, and screws him out of the title. And then you've screwed him for the title and then you've got the Triple H versus um, Triple H versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Yeah. Um, I, I can't see anything else because apart from Lesnar, uh, do we really want Lesnar and Rollins, uh, Ro- it's not Rollins, Lesnar and Reigns for a second WrestleMania in a row? So you are, guys, a little snip there from the interview uh, that I was involved in this past Friday night as a guest on British Wrestling Radio. All the information for them, guys, are available on um, our Facebook and Twitter if you want to go ahead and check them out. Um, they are a good bunch of guys there at BWR, and they know their stuff about British wrestling, uh, especially in the, the uh, British wrestling scene. So don't forget to check out Dino and Nixie every, so I think it used to be every Friday night, but I'm not too sure whether to do every Friday. Uh, but a uh, great bunch of people and I'm looking forward to uh, speaking to them very very soon so if you want to go ahead back, go back and listen to that interview you certainly can and give all your support as you do this show to British Wrestling Radio 
Okay, guys, let's get straight into it this week's Monday Night Raw. Uh, well, can I be totally honest with you guys? I was not entertained on Raw. And you're going to ask me why. It was the last Raw before the Rumble. Um, the show ended not the way I thought it was going to end. Uh, we also had a memorial service for a trumpet. Don't even get me started on it. Um, we also had the highlight reel which really didn't return into the highlight reel, just turned into a brawl. Um, but overall, guys, Raw this week, in my opinion, I was not overly entertained to the max. Raw went off the air where the Wyatt family was beating down Brock Lesnar. Uh, we had the highlight reel. We had Jericho involved in a segment that started the night with Roman Reigns and the, and the League of Nations, whatever it is. Uh, we had an old... Uh, flashback so we say segment backstage with Stephanie and, and Jericho which back in the day was good but in Raw wasn't uh, we have mixed reviews from you guys we had we put a we poll on our, our Twitter asking you what you thought of the show and a majority of the votes came back as an overall per show so I would tend to agree with you it wasn't overly a great show leading into this Sunday's Royal Rumble Speaking of the Royal Rumble, I actually forgot to mention at the start of the show, uh, this Sunday, before the Rumble goes on the air, uh, we will be doing a, as usual, an Outsider Ropes Royal Rumble pre-show. So don't forget to uh, tune in this Sunday for our Royal Rumble pre-show because we've got uh, some interesting things we'll go through, we'll go through all the matches of course, talk about past Royal Rumbles, um, listen to you guys because I want you to send in your emails as you always do. Um, so this Sunday, a few hours before the pay-per-view itself, we'll be doing an Outside the Ropes Royal Rumble special. So a very short review on Raw this week guys, I've, I've not very much to say about it, apart from the fact that it was not a great show. So. But on the more news for you, so anyway, try and cheer you up a bit more about me sounding depressed about this past Monday Night's Raw. Everybody's still talking about AJ Styles. I talked about it on British Wrestling Radio this, this past Friday night. It's been going around on WWE.com, social media, websites. Certain superstars in WWE have been posting out uh, stuff about AJ Styles coming to WWE. Even John Cena posted a photograph of Styles on Instagram today. <coughs> Excuse me. Is AJ Styles coming to WWE? It's been announced that he will be wrestling for Ring of Honor this pa this coming Saturday night, uh, which will be his last Ring of Honor appearance. He has been removed from further Ring of Honor shows. Um, but everybody is talking. Will he appear? Now it has appeared within the last few hours of this podcast being recorded that he is going to be starting with WWE very very soon. I'm sure you have all saw the video that went viral uh, across social media over the last few days of the show that he done in the UK where he was talking about the, being in the Royal Rumble. Now, it was a bit of a teaser to the crowd, obviously. Um, but the, the word coming out uh, as of today is that AJ Styles will be joining WWE really soon. But will he be at the Rumble on Sunday? That's the big question everybody wants to know. Will he turn up at the Raw Rumble on Sunday? We hear today that a few names from the current roster has been removed from the Royal Rumble. Maybe that's going to be for like old timers to come back for a one-off appearance. Um, or some new guys maybe appear. Uh, but the question in everybody's lips is, is AJ Styles going to turn up this Sunday at the Royal Rumble? My prediction is... Probably... Will he turn up? It's not 100%. Now, we did talk about on last week's Outside the Ropes that uh, Gallows and his other partner from the Bullet Club will be starting at NXT in March. I did give a prediction on British Wrestling Radio this, this past Friday night that I would the, the fantasy would be for the Bullet Club to turn up at the Royal Rumble. I give a scenario, which I thought was quite funny, that you know Triple H employs the Bullet Club to take down Roman Reigns which lead to a match at WrestleMania between Roman Reigns and Triple H. Now we hear the, the speculation that Triple H is going to turn up on Sunday, but the, the question on everybody's lips is right now, is AJ Styles going to turn up at the Royal Rumble this coming Sunday? All we know is that he, as of today, that he's starting with the company soon. Has he signed an agreement? 
what we watched an interview the other day on whatculture.com big shout out to those guys as well uh, they done an interview with AJ in the UK um, but he didn't give away f very much it's the same as the time whenever we interviewed Fergal Devitt aka Finn Balor before he, a few days before he left for WWE he wouldn't give away too much on that interview with Outside the Ropes so is he going to be appearing in WWE on Sunday? I hope so I would love to see it. Everybody wants to see it, but we'll keep you posted over the next few days leading into the Royal Rumble this coming Sunday. Speaking of other talent coming to WWE, big speculation going around online as in the last 24 to 48 hours that apparently Austin Aries is close to a deal with joining WWE as well. Now, everybody's been wanting to see Austin Aries in WWE for a long, long time, including myself and a lot of you guys out there who listen to this podcast. But he has been spotted in the area where he, wrestlers go for their medicals. If I hope I've got that right. Um, and he's sending out all these cryptic tweets on Twitter. Um, you can follow him on Twitter and have a look at his Twitter account. But there's speculation going around that he is close to a deal with the WWE Austin Aries, that would be another great signing, maybe for NXT, future uh, talent and, uh, to the main roster down the line, love to see it, but we'll keep an eye once again that story, it's a big story going around the internet over the last few hours as well about Austin Aries signing. Now a bit of sad news away from all the, re the wrestling going on, we're going to go back to the latest news shortly. Um, this, this one kind of got me. Uh, this past Monday it was announced that uh, former WWF stroke E whatever you want to call it or WWF um, star Iron Mike Sharp passed away age 64 uh, a lot of older fans um, remember Mike Sharp from back in the, the early days in the 80s and early 90s of WWF television he was the guy in the black trunks and the black boots and the big purry physique who done a lot of uh, growling why he was wrestling. He's a Canadian wrestler. Um, Edge and Christian were very close to him. Uh, I think it was actually Edge when he was training at the time. Uh, Mike Sharp was around that time as well. Helped train Edge at the time. But uh, if you don't know about Iron Mike Sharp, um, you can certainly go to WWE.com, our good friends at Wrestling Past, um, to check out the history of Iron Mike Sharp. Uh, WWE put a nice wee thing on their website the last few days about him and uh, it's just sad to see really because I always remember Mike growing up you know <laughs> you never forget him that whole you know, he was in the ring going, rawr, rawr, rawr. that's all you ever heard when he wrestled it was fun to watch he was a good worker he was big name back in the 80s you know and obviously the back in the early days of Monday Night Raw he was more used for uh, advancement talent should we call it but uh, he passed away he was found in his apartment uh, this last few days there and uh, we do send our well wishes off to the family of Iron Mike Sharp who passed away in the last few days age 64 64 where's the years gone I tell you gone so young as well let's go back to the Royal Rumble the Royal Rumble we're still talking about the Rumble I know we're talking about the Rumble but let's talk about news been going around the last lot of days as well even Ric Flair has come out and talked about this that reportedly the WWE have offered Shawn Michaels money to appear at the Rumble on Sunday to come out of retirement how desperate are the WWE with all these injuries to come out and say that I want to bring back Shawn Michaels after five, <laughs> five, so five years uh, six years since he's been retired since WrestleMania 26 you know, is it a desperation move by WWE or is it a one-time shot? The party they've offered him big money to get back into the ring on Sunday for the Rumble. Ric Flair's even come out and said WWE should bring him back, bring back HBK. You know, he should come back. And the question is, is HBK really in shape to get back into the ring? He's been away for a few years now. As he, you know, he talked about it on Austin's podcast. He's talked about it in Q and A's and stuff like that. That he's happy for what he's doing now. You know, with his television program and all the other stuff that he's doing. But maybe appear on Sunday's Royal Rumble to get in there just for old time's sake. Who knows? Shawn Michaels been offered, reportedly offered a, a big lump sum to appear at the Royal Rumble this Sunday. That would be a shocker. I would love to see that. A birthday birthday wish going out. I'm sure you probably saw on our Facebook and obviously WWE's and wherever else shared around the internet that our truth turned 50. Our truth is 50. What is going on? Our truth turned 50 years of age this past Tuesday night, and at the SmackDown tapings, which you won't see live on SmackDown tomorrow night, which is Thursday, 
um, R-Truth had a, a birthday celebration in the ring with current roster of WWE. So a big happy birthday to R-Truth. I can't believe he's 50. Really? As Roman Reigns said in the video, if you haven't watched it, go to our Facebook and watch it. He says he moves like a 26-year-old. 50 years old. Where has the time gone to? But there you go. Another thing, if you haven't checked out as well, guys, which I recommend for you to check out um, on the WWE Network, uh, the Road Dog Jesse James' interview with JBL on JBL's Legends. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and over to the WWE Network and watch that. It's a great interview. It's on for about an hour, roughly, uh, where they talk about uh, his addiction problems. They actually talk about TNA, with the time they've done the Voodoo Kim Mafia, VKM, Vincent Kennedy McMahon, where they had a pop at Triple H and Shawn Michaels and WWE and things like that so they talk about all his different things about him being serving in the Gulf War and where he came into professional wrestling where he got a start um, in, the, in the WWF the first time then the second run where he became obviously a big star with DX and stuff like that they talk about all his, his different things like his drug addictions and his family life and about Billy Gunn and if you're a big Road Dog fan or if you're a fan from those days go to head over to WWEnetwork.com now nice. sign if you are not sign up to the network then sign up to it and watch the interview with the road dog Jesse James with JBL on JBL's Legends, which is a great interview. Go over to it, and if you can, as soon as you possible, and click on it and watch it, because it's a great, great show. A, a must-watch. Also, guys, a must-watch. People have been asking me over the last few days, have I saw this documentary yet? The answer to your question, I have watched it now. I've watched it in the last few days, and I was, oh, taken in. I was... Uh, my emotions were all over the place watching it the resurrection of Jake the Snake Roberts if you haven't watched this documentary yet guys go to iTunes download it or if you can get your hands on it somewhere else someone uh, uh, put it online um, we shared it on our Facebook wall um, the full documentary if you want to watch it there um, I got it off uh, a friend of mine I'm not going to tell you where and who, <laughs> but I watched it. If you haven't watched Jake, the, the Resurrection of Jake and Snake Roberts, you got to watch this show. Honestly, it's a must-see. It's obviously for the older audience because of his, his addictions and stuff, but the, the, the documentary is it blows me away. Um, it, it plays with your emotions. It, it gives you tears in your eyes. It, it tells you the full story of Jake's life. You know, where DDP took, obviously, come into his life again and helped him get over his addictions and his road to the appearance on Royal School and the two Hall of Fame inductions. You know, his whole life changing. Guys, you got to go and watch it. The Resurrection of Jake and Snake Roberts is a fantastic product to watch. Get your hands on it. It involves WWE superstars like Chris Jericho, Edge, Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, you have all these JR, you have all these guys in this, this, this production talk about Jake you got to see this documentary. It is unreal. Watch it. You can get it on iTunes, or you can watch it on our Facebook, because we shared it off someone's page. I can't remember who it was we got it from, but it's there. It's there anyway, so make sure you watch it if you can. So there you go. Hulk Hogan news for you this week, guys. Hulk Hogan has been talking to his fans and responding to rumours, stating that he will be back in WWE before WrestleMania next year. Is Hulk Hogan going to be coming back after being released from the company not even a year ago about the, the whole racist, racist scam and the whole racist crap that was going on? He's been responding to fans saying he's no longer working for WWE and he's, no, he's not going back, but he said he'll be at WrestleMania this year in spirit. But on the other side of the coin, you know what it's like, guys. You know the story. WWE apparently are talking to him, apparently trying to get him back because this year's WrestleMania is going to be the all-time attendance record smashed. Obviously, Hogan was there the first time at WrestleMania three, where there was ninety-three thousand one hundred and seventy-three. I hope I've got that number right. I think I've got that number right. I do. Um, where Hogan was there, obviously the night he fought Andre the Giant. Who will ever forget that? But they're planning to smash the attendance record this year for WrestleMania. And what a better name to have there than Hulk Hogan, the guy who was there at WrestleMania 3. But uh, was tw that was 29 years ago. Unreal. Scary. But Hulk Hogan has been talking to fans about it, saying he's no longer with the company. And uh, maybe this is a way for him to cover it up. I don't know. But there you go. Um, Hulk Hogan, WrestleMania next year. Who would like to see that? Let's hear what you have to say about that, guys. <laughs> um, 
more Hardy Boy news. Is 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 the Hardy Boys coming to WWE? You've been you've been bashing my ear on Twitter. You've been bashing our people who runs the show on Twitter. Emailing is the Hardys coming back? Matt Hardy's now the champion. They had a match where he was the loser leaves town. If Matt lost, he the EC three he'd be leaving the company. But now he's the world champion. Is there going to be another twist to the tail? I don't know. But Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy are they on their way? Their contracts expire in February. Are they going to be coming to WWE, guys? I really don't know. I, I, it's just one of those things. He, he, he's asked me all the time this question. And to answer it for you, I all I know is their contract expires in February. Are they coming back? I would like to see it. The Dudley Boys challenged them to WrestleMania next year. Who would like to see that? I would. <laughs> so, again, guys, once we hear any more, we'll bring it to you. But, you know, just bear with us. As the stories progress, we do check daily to see what's going on. So... Uh, as far as we know, is he still with TNA? He's the world champion. So, but things can change. You know what they're like in TNA. <laughs> Tyler Breeze news this week. Everybody knows that Tyler Breeze hasn't been getting so much of a push on television uh, as of late, and I'll tell you the reason why. Tyler Breeze is in backstage heat with the company because apparently he asked to leave an event or TV taping early, which show the writers or the staff or was showed it as a sign of disrespect because he's only been brought up to the main roster and apparently that's not the reason why he is being pushed anymore. He had a bit of backstage heat with the powers to be and he is now being sort of set to the one side for the time being. So that's all I know because again you've been asking me why is Tyler Breeze not getting the push anymore that's the reason why if it's all I've heard today uh, but Tyler Breeze you know was getting a bit of a push there for a while I hope that the things do change because Tyler Breeze is a great talent but knowing Tyler Breeze he works his ass off he'll be busting his ass in the ring to prove a point to get himself back uh, up there with where he deserves to be because he has a, a, a great talent my opinion of Tyler Breeze is a large part of my opinion of Tyler Breeze is he's like a new Shawn Michaels does he not remind you of Shawn Michaels from back in the day where he came in and then he turned into the pretty boy and loved himself and Sean had the mirror obviously Tyler has the selfie stick you know and as the years go by he'll progress into maybe a new Shawn Michaels obviously everybody says to be your, not to be another Shawn Michaels but to be yourself but he kind of resembles that same sort of road if he has the same type of career as Shawn Michaels <laughs> what more could you ask for you know Shawn Michaels was a great talent Hall of Fame talent um, so yeah, hope Tyler Breeze gets things turned around and gets more of a push on television. So there you go. John Cena update as well. John Cena has updated his fans on his injury. He has stated that this injury will take a long time to recover. Um, a lot of fans have been asking him on social media, has he is he we're going to be coming to WrestleMania this year? Uh, and Cena hasn't responded to most people, but he has responded to a few. Uh, it's not looking likely, guys, that he might be at WrestleMania this year. Maybe WWE might do something with him backstage or in the ring or whatever. But he will not be cleared in time to wrestle. So John Cena's injury could be a lot out, sorry, out of injury a lot longer than expected. So, again, you know, only time will tell. You know, maybe he'll do a re remarkable recovery and appear at WrestleMania like he did a few years ago where he got injured in October. And they said he bid for eight months and he was back at January at the Royal Rumble after turning his peck. So, you all know Super Cena is a superhero to all those little John Cena fans, so you never ever know. But there you are. Um, other update as well on Seth Rollins. We hear Seth Rollins is doing really, really well. Again, he will not be at WrestleMania this year, which is unfortunate. We hear him around about maybe May time before Seth can get back into the ring again. Uh, which is good. He's, he's well ahead of schedule. Um, so it's good to see uh, Seth Rollins is on the recovery and uh, get back into the ring and uh, we're going to see him back in action as soon as possible big Kurt Angle news now people again I love the way you guys torture me email the show what are you asking me for <laughs> Kurt Angle is he coming to WWE for the Hall of Fame this year Dixie Carter TNA have announced that his last match with TNA will be on the 31st of January in Birmingham in England, where he will be facing Bobby Roode in his last match with TNA Wrestling. I think it's a television tape, and it actually is. Kurt is now apparently leaving TNA. It's him done. 
The door is now open for him to go to WWE. He talks to fans a bit on Twitter about it. He talks to fans on Facebook about it. Kurt Angle would go to WWE. Has he been asked to go? Yes, he has, apparently. Fan, did, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll answer this question. But everybody, everybody, does Kurt Angle deserve to go into the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. Is Kurt Angle one of the, the best in-ring wrestlers, in my opinion? Absolutely. Should he have one last match in WWE? If he's medically cleared to wrestle? Yeah. Who would his opponent be? I don't know. Should he be in the Hall of Fame in WWE? 100%. Is he making the right move by leaving TNA? In my opinion, the way TNA is going at the minute? Absolutely. So, But all I can say to you is now his last match is on the 31st of January in Birmingham, UK against Bobby Roode. TV taping. If you're going to the show, send us pictures, as you always do. Let us see what's going on, because obviously he will not be there. Um, but Kurt Angle is leaving TNA at the end of this month. So, is he on route to WWE? It'd be great to see him at WrestleMania, wouldn't it? WWE this time of year? You never, ever, ever know. But anyway, that's enough of the latest news and ongoings in the world of wrestling. <laughs> that's all I've been given to talk about on this week's show. As you know, I get handed a run sheet every week and told to speak about it. Um, I have no time to answer any emails this week, guys. I do apologise um, because there's been that many and we're on very little time because obviously we had to uh, give a shout out to different things like that, that last Friday show there with uh, British Wrestling Radio. I want to give a shout out to um, our good friends here in Ireland for Wrestling.ie. Uh, Pro Wrestling Ulster have a show coming up on the 31st of January. You can check out their website, prowrestlingulster.co.uk for all ticketing information. Um, there's a new uh, Northern Ireland Wrestling School open up. In association with Celtic Championship Wrestling, the wrestling school opened up in Oma, uh, which is great to see. We shared some posts on our Facebook about that. So if you're living in Northern Ireland or Southern Ireland and you would like to become a professional wrestler, there is another school. There's obviously the Pro Wrestling Ulster Prim- uh, School, Fight Factory is great. Um, and now we have the um, wrestling school run by Celtic Championship Wrestling. So there's more schools open for young guys wanting to become professional wrestlers here in Ireland, which is great to see and some great trainers down there and uh, I'm happy to see it I really am happy to see it um, so don't forget to check out Celtic Championship Wrestling um, also Five Factory Pro Wrestling Over the Top Wrestling I've got a big show coming up this month as well uh, we'll share some of their previews coming up as well so if you live in the southern area of Ireland or even want to travel from the north or wherever you want to travel Over the Top Wrestling are great they've had Rhino, they've had Too Cool they've got some great talent down there uh, from the north and south of Ireland over, and it's also this show is for over 18s only so over the top wrestling is awesome I would love to get along to it also um, ICW are coming to Belfast in Northern Ireland on the 26th of February get yourselves in any more time I don't think there's any tickets left for that we have contacted them because we've had people ask us on Facebook today have we had a response from them no we haven't we've asked them we've emailed them asked them for interviews with the talent we're hoping to get interviews with the talent fingers crossed we're trying to get talent um, to talk to us we have sent emails so fingers crossed they reply to us get along the ICW on the 26th of February which is at Mandela Hall in Belfast so don't forget to check out all those great promotions if I've, if I've missed any I do apologise oh sorry main stage wrestling too don't forget to check out I do apologise if I have missed any at all my apologies I do apologise <laughs> we're running the one time here guys don't forget this coming Sunday night our Royal Rumble pre-show a few hours before the pay-per-view itself, myself, and I'll be answering your questions and emails and stuff. I'm hoping, hoping and praying to get Tony into the sh- into the show this week. Uh, he was here at my home. Uh, sorry, was at my home. Sorry, on Monday for Raw, we were having a chat, and I was saying to him, "Can you please come around for the Rumble? The pre the pre show will be recorded at my home, so I'll be putting it all together on my computer at home. So if there's a few mistakes or anything on it, I do apologize." <laughs> um, we're trying to get it all put together for Sunday for the pre-show. I'm hoping to get Tony on for a wee chat and talk about previous rumbles and stuff like that. We're going to put things up on our Facebook and Twitter asking you who your favourite Royal Rumble winner was, your favourite Rumble of all time, who's going to win this year, predictions for this Sunday. There's been extra matches added to the card this Sunday involving a, uh, I think it's a triple threat tag team match, a US title match, tag team title match, um, IC title last man standing match. You know, we've got some great matches there plus the main Royal Rumble match itself. So don't forget this Sunday, guys. Outside the ropes is Royal Rumble pre-show. 
where we're going to answer all your questions and predictions for the pay-per-view itself. It's the start of the road to WrestleMania. Let's get it going. Cause I, can't, I love this time of year, the Raw Rumble. Let it be a great show and uh, don't make it as bad as Raw this past Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to hit the road and get out of here. Um, I know this show is recorded on Wednesday, so if you're watching NXT tonight, enjoy it. Enjoy SmackDown tomorrow. Enjoy any of our show, independent show you're heading to, no matter where you're listening to us across the world. Big thanks once again for hitting subscribe here on iTunes. Listen to us on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or Speaker or wherever it is you're listening to us. Thank you so much for sharing and obviously being part of this Outside the Ropes family. So for myself, Matthew, I will see you all on Sunday for the Royal Rumble special. For outside the ropes. So until then, enjoy the rest of your week. And until Sunday, this is Matthew, and I'll see you all on Sunday.